this is Charlie Matatuyela with another video on how to make and how to play the Native American flute video series. The flute we're working on today is one of our mini flutes. These guys are really tiny, usually between 9 and 11 inches long. I mean, really small. Uh, that's, uh, let's see, about 400 millimeters. Anyway, so you got a tiny little instrument here, plays, makes a really neat sound. And uh, usually something that everyone likes. Um, this one here is made out of bamboo, which is the one we're going to be finishing up in the video in just a second. But we make a lot of them out of this stuff here. This is sawgrass that we grow and harvest from all over the place. Um, you can use a number of other materials to make these flutes out of. Really, you can use just about anything. And, uh, and I'll show you some different examples in a minute. But I just wanted to let you know that you know we've been making these for a while now. Kind of a neat instrument. We call them our Cherokee Little People flutes or our mini flutes. And uh, you know, they, they're something you can keep like in your pocket. If you make the size of the mouthpiece a little smaller and make it out of a smaller diameter, you can really shorten these guys up some, almost uh, seven, eight inches. And uh, the whole pattern is very similar, no matter the size and diameter. We make them almost up to, uh, say, a half inch, or almost as small as a quarter of an inch, which is really tiny, and you have to use smaller fingerings for the quarter of an inch. But uh, the one that we're gonna be making here, I'll give you the specifics and the size, the measurements and diameters and all that stuff in just a second and uh, kind of like my little seasonal gift to you guys because we've been working and working and working and hadn't had a chance to make any flute making videos um, because it's the holiday season whichever holiday but, uh, but anyway we've been uh, been very busy with that so this is kind of my little gift to you guys uh, no pun intended so what I've done is I've marked this with my my pattern flute like always um, The mini flute inside diameter is usually between 5 16 and 3 8 of an inch. That's almost 10 millimeters, not quite. It's like 8 and 9 millimeters. Um, but uh, about, like I said, about 5 16 to 3 8 of an inch. And you can make it out of anything. I chose to make this one out of bamboo. It's rare that I ever make these out of bamboo. I usually use either river cane like this piece. I don't know if any of you have noticed the difference, but uh, the river cane doesn't have this flat section on it that the bamboo does. Uh, the river cane usually has a really long link too. This piece of river cane's link was like three and a half times this size. Um, this bamboo that's here, I actually cut it off right above the link. Now, you may have a piece of bamboo with a link that's really close, in which case you'll have to burn that through. And just a real quick word on using bamboo as a medium for making flutes. It's great. It makes some really beautiful flutes, especially our burned ones we've made out of it. I like our burned river cane flutes. Uh, the bamboo is really good stuff. It's usually nice and smooth, too, on the inside, which the river cane's a little more porous, and we usually fill it with something, uh, fill the pores with something to seal them off. But the bamboo is really naturally very slick on the inside and the outside. Um, but the one important thing that I'd like to, to make sure everybody understands when it comes to uh, the links, we purposely leave this link in here where I'm going to auger down with this Forstner bit. Uh, we purposely leave that link in there so that it blocks the air passage and you know it comes up through our little air passage singular hole that we want it to come through rather than passing through the flute. So that might be a problem if you're getting a real airy sound and it's not playing any notes. Um, just make sure you don't knock this link here out and if there is a link down in the lower area feel free to knock all those out I say knock them out the easiest way to get them out is drill them or use a burning rod and uh, while I have this drill bit in my hand this is a 5 16 drill bit I use it for making some of my Cherokee four hole whistles that we make out of cedar that I know you know I apologize they're not listed on the website yet but um, we uh, we make these by hand drill them out like this they're a little fancier than our, our other ones and a little bit more expensive, but they're really super cool and have the little hole here. This one's not completed yet. But uh, here's a piece of very special elderberry that I collected from a really special location. Um, it was cut when I got it, so it was already dying, but uh, the place I got it from is a really important place to me and my family. Um, when I drilled this out, it already had a something of a hole inside of it but I just basically took this 5 16 you know extra long drill bit got from Lowe's or Home Depot somewhere like that um, or Harbor Freight they have them too um, I took this drill bit and drilled it out all the way it took a little bit of work to get it out but it's nice and hollow now and uh, 
you know, nice and smooth inside. I went ahead and burned the inside of it too with a burning rod. But the uh, the thing about drilling this material out, even though it already has a, a pith center in it, like a, a hollow area in there, is it gets the center really nice and straight and perfect. I'm gonna use it for making another one of my four hole whistles, but this one's for myself. Um, Anyway, there's lots of materials you can make uh, these mini flutes out of. I mean, really anything. And, and like I mentioned on, and I probably should have over elaborated on the video of making the uh, four hole Cherokee whistles, but you know, I'd like to see somebody make these things out of a, a McDonald's drinking straw or a Whataburger drinking straw or something like that. And forgive me, up north, Whataburger is a neat restaurant if you haven't been there. But, uh, but anyway, um, I'd like to see somebody make a a flute out of one of those because I've always in my whole life thought well this would be way convenient everybody has access to these you get done with your drink and you have a nice flute left over so uh, so if anybody wants to do that I'd be glad to post a video on our Facebook of your end product however uh, what we're gonna do this time like say using the bamboo as with any other material that you can make these out of I'm gonna go ahead and auger this area down so it's nice and flat for our track area Watch those fingers. Okay. Looks like we're really close. Definitely watch your fingers, folks. So the next thing we're going to do is use a really tiny, tiny little drill bit, and I don't keep track of what size these guys are as much as I probably ought to. Shows up to be about two and a half millimeters, which is just a little bit smaller than an eighth of an inch. And that's the one that I usually use to drill out my mini flutes. Something you may want to take note of if you've got a pen and paper, go ahead and pause the video and get ready, I'll give you the measurements. Yeah, let me put my hole here first so we can use it to track. So what we're going to do here is measure from the hole, usually the center of the hole, but once again, this isn't rocket science. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, from the center of the hole to the first fingering, this is the actual sound hole, not the supply hole in the back. From the center of the sound hole, we're looking at roughly two and one eighth, two and one eighth of an inch, which is actually 53 millimeters, 53 and a half, 53 and a quarter millimeters. But uh, that's two and one eighth to the first hole. The next hole that we're looking at is roughly 66 millimeters or what I like to call two and a half and an eighth which is two and five eighths <laughs> but uh, so once again two and five eighths or 66 millimeters and then the next hole the third hole once again this is a five hole flute it's what we call our Cherokee little people flutes or uh, mini flutes we've called them that for a long time We're looking at about 88 millimeters, which is roughly almost three and a half inches. Three and a half inches to the next one. Now the fourth hole, traveling from the sound supply hole to the bottom, we're looking at 106 and a half millimeters, just roughly. Like I said, not rocket science. Personally, I'd make it 106 just to be on the safe side. <laughs> It's not really necessary. Little joke. Um, actually, so 106 or uh, 4 and 1, 2, 3 sixteenths of an inch. This next one, a little cheap caliper getting stuck on me. Never really like to travel past their use point. We're looking at almost exactly four and three quarters. It's just 
really it's just a smidgen like a 32nd over four and three quarters of an inch which is roughly 121 millimeters to the last hour and then from there to the end you're gonna have to tune these things after you get a drill but just a rough estimate you're looking at about another three inches which is roughly 76 millimeters now what I'll tell you that's very important like I said the inside diameter needs to be between 3 8 and 5 16 roughly you know we make some bigger ones here's one made out of river cane that is much bigger than 3 8 it's probably close to a half almost a half it's like 12 millimeters uh, so this is one out of sawgrass not the river cane like I said sawgrass uh, sawgrass is kind of a neat material which you'll see some pictures of grows everywhere in the south I think from not quite West Texas like Central Texas all the way over to North Carolina and as far north as New York on the East Coast but I don't believe it grows in the West Coast I'd have to check um, but anyway so the bamboo however this Chinese bamboo is everywhere it's in everybody's yard you can find it just about any place And like I said you know don't hesitate to get you a drill bit and a piece of wood from a hardware store you know you can find something to make these flutes out of coincidentally a lot of your hobby and craft stores Michaels Hobby Lobby um, I think even Hancock Fabrics and a few Joann's Fabrics there's a few places like that these craft stores that you'll find some small pieces of of uh, river cane you know come to think of it even our our Walmart stores here in the US have sometimes in their craft section a small chunk of some type of river cane or sawgrass a lot of times it's Peruvian but it's great stuff um, to uh, to make these mini flutes out of if you had to buy it um, however let's see the one thing I did want to tell you is that it's roughly you see it's uh, roughly 200 millimeters just kind of guessing here 200 millimeters of sound chamber that we require to make one of these mini flutes so from from this partition this link of the bamboo to the bottom we need at least 200 millimeters or roughly eight inches to make that happen what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and drill this out and see if I can't finish it up without taking too much time from you guys get this guy playing so we can hear what he sounds like And of course, like always, I like to burn the inside of my fingering holes out so that they play better. It's a lot cleaner hole. If you notice too, one little trick that I, I always like to show you all some tricks that I've learned or things that I've done. Um, but one little trick that'll help you out. Any of you have noticed this set of holes here are not perfectly straight. They're not exactly in line. But I can remedy that when I use my burning tool. If this one's too far this way, I'm going to burn it with the center a little bit that way. If this one's too far that way, centered this way, and so on and so on. You know, basically uh, kind of correcting my whole pitch as I go. Drilling it is not as easy, in my opinion, as burning it out in respect of keeping the hole straight. Um, the burning tool that I'm using, if I remember right, is uh, uh, two millimeters, roughly an eighth of an inch. So it's just ever so slightly larger in diameter than this... Uh, drill bit. I believe this burning rod is made out of a piece of of just round rod that I bought from a hardware store. This burning rod is a piece of a coat hanger. It's an eighth of an inch, or excuse me, sixteenth of an inch. And then uh, this other burning rod is a uh, piece of industrial something or another that I found that fits a need. This one is made out of a cheap tent stake. I mean, look, look and see what you've got, see what you can do with it. I'm sure you'll find something that'll fit your needs. As I'm heating this rod up and burning it into the flute, I'm actually giving it just a little twist. It's one of those parts of physics that we always forget, is that if you add a little bit of energy to something, it, it uh, does a little more work for you.
So it's got all those holes nice and smooth inside. And I'm going to go ahead and put up my mini flute burning tool. It's just a little L shape carved out of a piece of metal like this. A little quarter inch diameter iron rod. While that's happening, I'm going to go ahead and take my X Acto knife and clean this little area here a bit. By the way, don't hesitate to use some other system of making these flutes if you want to make one like this. My first flutes, I don't know how many times I have to say it, I made with a pocket knife. Made out of cedar. I split the wood, I hollowed it out, drilled the holes, and everything on the pocket knife. Even etch the track area here. This way that I do it, I do it this way because we've made over 700,000 flutes. You know, this way is a good way of making it. It's effective and quick and just really does a very good job. Piece of steel wool, by the way. Look how nice and clean that is and how straight those holes are now. It's just amazing how crooked they were a second ago. A lot of you are probably going to get discouraged on this part if you're using fire especially um, to make this sound hole in the track area. These mini flutes, we just did all the easy part. <laughs> it don't get no easier after that. This is the hard part of making the flute. Making the tracks and everything is so, so vital and important. I might put up a little diagram to show you something that I've come up with lately. It's going to be in our flute making book. It will be coming out here really soon. We're almost finished with it. But uh, the uh, diagram I'm going to show you is kind of a metaphor of how the air travels. Um, if you're driving a truck down a road and you're going into an alley, it's easier to drive the truck into a nice, perfectly shaped square alley that's just a little bigger than the truck. In other words, this alley was designed to fit this truck and that's what you got to remember when you're making this hole and the trap the air passage and everything your truck that you're going to be driving down this thing metaphor of the air is really tiny and it is no less important to keep its alley and passageway just as straight and uh, lined up as if it was a giant truck. So just keep that in mind. Just like making big flutes, these little guys are definitely easy to make, but most everybody, myself included, are going to throw away a lot of them before you really get the hang of making this part right here exactly the way you need it. You might even want to start off on that part first. Of course, it's good practice drilling those holes out. We're going to find out in just a minute, too, when I get to cutting this. So we're probably going to cut about a half inch off of this sucker to make it in two. Maybe a little bit more. Not quite an inch. So everything here is on the microscopic on this little guy. And just to let you see, the track isn't very deep. It's not more than, say, a sheet of paper. It's actually a little thinner than a sheet of paper deep. And that's extremely important. Um, I'm going to use my little spade knife here, a little push knife, to clean it up just a tiny bit. Make sure I got my lines all straight. Keeping that air traveling in the right direction, the right amount of it. And. Uh, something of a straight angle or a slight tilt back. Doing that really helps out keeping this guy playing. I'm going to go ahead and make a track for it. It's going to take me just a second and um, tie it on. We'll see what's going on. Okay, sorry about the mess in the shop, but like I said, it's uh, around a holiday season and I tell you what, we have had a lot of orders and this is just the aftermath. I did want to take the opportunity, however, to give you guys a video on how to make these tiny little flutes. 
So, uh, anyways, so we have the track all right now and the block made for it, which is just another little sliver of river cane or bamboo or whatever you can find. And I've got it on there. I'm going to clamp it down. I use these squeezy clamps in the shop a lot. It keeps me from tying and untying while it's still in the production stage. Let's see what it sounds like. I don't know if you heard this top note here. You can blow fast and it'll overblow, which is kind of cool. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just sand this off. I don't stop often enough to tell you guys that when you're sanding on materials like this, you really should wear a safety mask. <laughs> Having painted a lot of my life uh, with air compressed and, and uh, pneumatic painters, I have a tendency of taking deep breaths before I do anything and exhaling slowly while I'm doing something. So I'm not breathing most of this stuff in, except for maybe tiny particles that are floating around that you know, are going to be floating around outside of the shop anyway. really close. The bottom note's a little bit flat still, so I'm going to take it up just a little bit more. If you haven't seen my video on um, on tuning flutes, that might help you a little bit on this guy. Um, longer and more air is flatter or lower. Shorter or less air is sharper or higher. So we're going to make this guy just a little bit sharper. Unlike the big flutes, as you're tuning the bottom note on this mini flute, it really shows up on these other holes. It really shows up, especially the top hole. Let's see what it sounds like. Bottom note's still a little flat. Not a whole lot. So what happens if you drill or sand too much of the bottom off, as we discussed in the flute tuning video, you put a plug in it. So let's see what it sounds like now. I think that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this together and give you guys just a real quick little concert of it so you can hear it, but uh, you'll get a good idea of what it looks and sounds like there. So this is what this little guy sounds like, kind of a, a nice sounding little flute, just got to be careful on the breath. As we've talked about it in the how to play the mini flute video, you have to use just a tiny amount of breath. Any of you instrumentalists that have played other instruments before that are wind instruments probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Brass instrumentalists, my first instrument I played was a trombone. I'm going to tell you, we learned how to force a lot of air. The uh, volume, the uh, amount of air inside of a brass instrument, any brass instrument, is hundreds of times more than what you're going to get the mass of air inside of this little flute. So you need to think about this on a tiny level. If you're playing even one of our larger flutes, they use only a little bit of air. You know, it's it's designed to play with a conversational voice. You don't have to, <laughs> you know, to get them to play. Especially this guy, you just kind of sigh into the flute. I always tell people, or use as much air as you would use to blow an eyelash off of a baby's cheek. So I'm going to play it for you, let you hear what he sounds like. That's it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to us. Like it if you liked it. And if you didn't like it, 
send me a message. Tell me why. Let me know. Don't just say I didn't like it and click that stupid little thumbs down over there. Um, but anyway, uh, y'all take care. Hope you liked. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks again for watching. And once again, this is Charlie Montetuiella out uh, for now for how to make and how to play Native American flute videos. Check out our website, which is bluebearflutes.com. Our Facebook is also Blue Bear Arts. And uh, like I said, anything you need, send me a message. Thank <laughs> you.